If you're into fishing, you probably do a fair bit of trolling, which means you're operating a trolling motor foot pedal. Most of them are fairly high off the deck, which means you're gonna be standing with one foot in the air for quite a while. And after time, that could be a little sore in the hips. Well, fortunately, our friends at Panther have a solution. This is a recessed foot control tray, which will allow us to put that big tall foot control at the same level as the deck. It comes with a great set of instructions and a cutting template and a hose drain so that any water that accumulates in the tray will drain out into the bilge and some stainless steel screws for mounting. And that's all you really need except for a couple tools to cut and glue the carpet back down. And before we start, we should take a peek to see if there's anything underneath this deck. We can flip this guy up and take a peek, but we can't quite see all the way in. There's a little uh, brace in the back there. So we're gonna pull this whole deck out and take a peek. But before we do, let's measure that center line and get that established. Locate the center of your boat deck by placing a straight edge from the center of your seat pedestal base out to the center tip of the bow. In our case, we could eyeball it using one edge of the tray itself. Oh, we found some foam. With the deck out, we can see there is some foam to keep the boat floating in the event you fill it with water. And we found a small brace to help support the deck. Now most boats won't have anything under this position in the deck, but this is a bit smaller boat, so we're not giving up. We are gonna cut out a little bit of this support piece. It's not structural in the hull. And we're gonna take out a little bit of foam, which means we'll probably have to add some foam later on. With an idea of what will get cut below, the deck goes back on for marking cut lines. The only tricky part is this is hinged. So we've gotta make sure this flange doesn't end up behind the hinge. Now, it will recess the tray underneath this support structure bit, but that should be okay. We're gonna cut part of that out. Now we gotta mark the rest of it. The instructions say to tape the perimeter, which makes it much easier to cut. So what we gotta do is cut with a utility knife inside to remove the carpet. Now that we've cut the carpet out, we just gotta make a pilot hole for the skill saw. Time to cut the template inside the tape. With the hole cut, we now know where to remove foam. So we remove the deck and tidy up a bit. About 10 inches of deck support had to be cut to fit the tray. We also had to cut out enough foam to fit the tray, which definitely makes a bit of a mess. With the deck back in, we check to see how the tray fits. Oh, 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 look at that. Now we did cut the hole a little small in the beginning just to make sure we weren't too big. So at the end, just a little bit of trimming to expand it a couple of millimeters, but now we're fitting good. Lots of space for the hinge. This might be overkill, but some of the carpet isn't glued down, so we're gonna use a little contact cement just to glue it down before we bolt the tray in place. Now each foot tray comes with a drain, which you gotta thread in first, and then find a little spot to run the drain. Now there's basically only one step left, and that is to screw it down with the provided two inch stainless screws. I like kits that come with all the hardware. Not everything does. With the tray secure, we now make sure the deck and the forward bulkhead are also secure. And the very last step is to screw foot pedal in place so it doesn't move around. Now overall, this job took us just over an hour because we had some fiddling to do with the foam and cutting out a bit of metal underneath. But if you didn't have to do that, you could probably put this in in about half an hour. And now you can see both feet are level with the deck. And this is much more comfortable for hours and hours of trolling. Now, if your trolling pedal is not as tall as this one and you're wondering if it's gonna fit, not to worry because Panther does make a tray insert for those low profile trolling foot pedals. So no matter which one you've got, they've got you covered and you can get it level with the deck.